what's working right here, right now? Let me tell you about a stock that's been absolutely on fire for the past few weeks. It's Henry Schein, HSIC, the world's number one distributor of healthcare products and services for dentists and veterinarians, as well as being a major supplier of vaccines. The dental supply space, including everything from big items like dentist chairs to tiny ones, like the composites and implants that actually end up in your mouth, is a terrific duopoly business where Henry Schein is the top dog. 40 to 45% market share in the U.S. Meanwhile, the company's animal health division has been on a hot streak lately, and their vaccine business is taking share and benefiting from the Affordable Care Act, since more people with insurers equals more vaccines. Henry Schein has been a smart consolidator in these fairly fragmented industries, making tons of smart acquisitions that bolster the company's earnings. And speaking of earnings, Henry Schein just reported a stellar quarter yesterday, three-cent earnings beat off a $1.31 basis, with higher-than-expected revenues up 11.7% year-over-year. The company taking market share across all the major business groups and strong sales growth both in North America and now overseas. No wonder the stock, which already had a great run into the quarter, jumped another 6.6% yesterday in the news. Now, Henry Schein has given you a 7.5% gain since we last spoke to the CEO past April, and it's rallied more than 68% since we first interviewed him two years ago. Can this stock keep climbing? Let's check in with Stanley Bergman, the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein, find out more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Bergman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to be here, Jim. All right, CNBC celebrated its 25th anniversary yesterday. You've been 25 years at the CEO of yeah. Henry Schein. During your period, what has most changed with this company? The most change has been... I guess the size, but technology. There are things that you're doing that is really a stealth technology. I always thought of you as a dental chair. So, and when my friend David Faber said, you know, you yes. got to Henry Schein, <laughs> I said, oh, dental chairs. But no, when I go through it, you're a big data company and a company that's digitizing a lot of things. Correct. So you have impression materials here, Jim. These are the uh, uh, products that are used to take an impression manually. Right. We're digitalizing that, where you can take a scan of the mouth, you could take that information, send it to a computer, and mill the crown or the bridge chair side and be in and out of the dental office within about an hour. It, when I've had them, it's been four trips, and each one has been three hours. Right. Well, it's going to change. Really? Yeah. You can do that? Yeah. I mean, it's really, you know, everyone knows that when you do an implant, it's, it's really expensive. That means it's going to be less money, presumably, and that it's so time-consuming that it's just one of the last yeah. things you want to Well, the, the crown or the bridge will be... Totally digitalized. Well, I don't and know you ask what's to... changed? Technology. There you go. Okay, now you also, uh, have, we've not talked, we talked about dental. I have been dealing a lot with animal health because Zoetis has been a really great stock that we've been recommending. This animal health veterinary business is a fabulous growth business. Yes. Isn't it? Well, if animal health business is growing, particularly the companion animal part, why? Because of the baby boomers. The baby boomers are buying more pets. And what do they have? <laughs> what is the veterinary? Uh, what, what is, uh, first of all, I know there's insurance now. But, yes. I mean, why are they, uh, are they just spending more and more money on their pets as part of their disposable well, income? Well, we know the consumer cares very much about the, their pets. Right. And, of course, the veterinarians take care of the pets. And during the recession, we did okay in the veterinary business. One of the things I thought was amazing about this conference call was that, you know, I've been saying slow and steady, Henry Schein, but you, had, you doubled the uh, organic growth that I expected. A lot of the real growers that I have are struggling to have three to five. You did six. Where is this new products and technology? Well, it's a combination of everything, Jim, but the economy in the U.S. is leaning in the positive direction, and uh, uh, Germany and uh, uh, the U.K. are leaning in a positive right. direction, and, uh, and Australia is doing very well. But you know, so, you've made a point of saying that Japan's good. Well, it's, it's, you just moved in there. Yes. I was, why is Japan the second largest dental market when it's certainly not the second largest country? Well, uh, uh, Japanese understand that oral care is important. There's an understanding in Japan and growing lately around the world that good oral care leads to good care and good care of the body in total. So there's a direct correlation between oral care and health care. The Japanese understand that and the government's paying for it. But in, in our country, you, you, all you hear is people cutting back at companies not giving dental care, other than a few companies. How can people afford it? Well, it's a mistake because at the end of the day, we're getting more and more evidence to prove that good oral care results in better lifestyle and better quality Well, our mothers life. told us that, right? I mean, you yeah, take well. care of your teeth. It's like your eyes and your teeth. You constantly have to look at it. Vaccines. I mean, we hear a lot in the news. You actually do a Ebola project, but how successful are, in our lifetime, what are we going to have vaccines for that we're not even thinking about now? Well, Jim, we're the largest provider uh, uh, in terms of uh, growth uh, uh, of products to office-based physicians. In other words, physicians that take care of their patients outside of the hospital. We have the fastest growing business in that field. 
A big part of that business is the vaccines, and we're doing very well in that vaccine area. And I think over time there'll be more and more vaccines available for more and more diseases, and we'll prevent people from getting sick through vaccines. Is it likely that my physician who gave me my flu shot was uh, using a Henry Schein product if it was in New York City? Two physicians were the largest provider of vaccines uh, 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 as a distribution company. And the chances are the flu shot came from us. Big, All right. Big chance. Last thing I've been thinking when I, when I mentioned Henry Schein, I, I was watching a video this week by Kevin Spacey, and he said that you have to tell stories. And I realized that I've not told the story of Henry Schein because I don't meet a lot of people who own your stock. And yet this is probably the easiest stock to own of the ones I cover. What do you tell people when you say, listen, you should own our stock? The bottom line is we have a phenomenal culture where we take care of the, what we call the five constituents that make up the Henry Schein mosaic of success. Our suppliers, we're the best okay. vehicle for them to bring their products to market. Our customers, we help them run a better business, a better enterprise so that okay. they can provide better quality care. We have a terrific team. We provide consistent earning stream to our sure customers, to our, uh, to our investors, and then we deeply engage in social responsibility. You take all five of those, successful company. That's the secret. It's been a huge winner. This is Stanley Bergman, Chairman CEO of Henry Stein. Guys, some stocks are easier to own than others. This may be one of the easiest. Bad Money's back after the break.